and you're um, meeting the day i'm day okay i don't know whether to go chi or to go a local language or to actually speak english i don't know but i mean the death of kofi b and me seeing the mom you know and where they were and the way she was crying like the way she was sitting and the environment everything it just hits me like Ghanaians or black people we don't ensure our lives we do not insure our lives like yeah 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 insurance to secure you know um after death when we die our loved ones our mothers especially you know especially if you've not been able to do anything for them when you are alive that in case you are not there it will take care of them you know if you are not able to do that just find someone would say say a Ghana insurance company bank find a reputable insurance company and do life insurance in case you die they, then you you know you leave it for your family your mom your wife your kids we should stop this. Oh, be a be woo. Whether you like it or not, you would die. And yet the fat talk with insurance. Oh, nature said we invited death. We invited death. Whether you invite death or not, you are still going to die. So if you have people that you love, insure your life. Do life insurance. So in case you die, your family is secured. Guys, please think about this. Think about it. I mean, now Kofi B just died. It was not planned because the way the guy died, it was just sudden. So obviously, if he ha if he doesn't have insurance, which I doubt very doubt, I very much doubt that he, he does have insurance, life insurance. Imagine how is the mom, the wife, and kid, the, the his kids. Because I understand he's not married, but he has kids. How are they going to survive? I mean, I feel for the mom. Did you see the mom? I just feel for the mom. I mean, how is she going to survive? Me. Um, I don't know about your love. I can use mine as an example. I mean, this is something that I never thought of or I never did in the past. Maybe because of where I was. But now in my current relationship and, you know... The woman that I'm with now, so I don't know. Maybe she opened a part of me. I think about all these things. I do have life insurance. I do have life insurance. When I die right now, I will not die just like that. Or nothing is, you know, not gonna come out of my death. Think about this. Even when you die, something should something should come out of your life. If I die right now, I do have life insurance. Lynn is covered. Lynn is covered. My mom is covered. After my mom, even now that I'm even living in Ghana, I'm sorting it out. And when I say I've sorted it out, I mean I have sorted her out. If I die right now, she's not going to cry and say, Oh, then I'm ready. Oh, what, is, what am I going to do? And I, oh, she's going to cry because, Oh, I've lost my child. Oh, that. You know. And I'm not saying it's a Kofi B, my man is correct, then the midi. But it might be, you know, running through her head. Especially if he's the breadwinner. So. But my mom, she's just going to be crying over the fact saying, I am gone. I am gone. That's it. She will not think about money. Where will I sleep? Who will pay my rent? What? Business, my sorting, a fear, everything sorted. So I'm saying, I'm just I'm not saying this to big up anything, but I'm just saying, sort out your family, especially if you have someone that you love. Sort them out, okay, and have peace of mind in case anything can happen at any time. Or oh, spirits, when it comes out of your body, now you 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 have peace at least. On bear on mobile, so much to not say, but you know, said they are secure. This world, you know, you use money to do this and that, this and that. And my insurance is for my partner, yeah. But you know, my girl, Len, she's not money conscious or so she's not greedy. 
she will, she, will, she will still give my brother something, my sister something, my mom something, on top of whatever it is that I've done for them. So, me will peace of mind. Me will peace of mind. That is something you can never, you know, do away with. It would come. But I'll be thinking, oh, so if you die, what well, is going to happen? Am I going to go to heaven? Or am I going to go, go to hell? That's your problem, whether you go to heaven or hell. But the people who brought you to, to this world or your loved ones on earth, no, they are not thinking about them. When we die, we will sort the death one. If I die now and I and uh, says, uh, God call me and say, oh, I'm coming to judge you because you are a lesbian, so I will take you to hell. Take me to hell. Take me there. Uh-huh. Would that make you happy? If that will make you, the God, know happy that you are in hell and suffering and you are happy, be happy. Besides, I did not ask you to create me. When I bought me, baby, I see you, the God, you took it upon yourself to create me, put me in some woman's womb and bring me to this world without asking me for any permission. You didn't ask me anything. You didn't ask me for nothing. You just put me on this earth. So if now you decide I will take you to hell and that will make me happy, let it make you happy, eh? I didn't ask you to create this world. I did not ask you to create me. I didn't ask you to do anything. You did it all by yourself. So at the end of the day, if you decide to take me to heaven, you know, hello, and that will make you happier. It is your own wahala. I don't care. All I know is my loved ones are sorted. And this is what we are talking about. Black people are Ghanaians. When we talk about death, they only think about, oh, where will you go? Will you go to heaven? Will you go to hell? Why are you worrying about where you go, heaven or hell? Think about the loved ones, the people you love now you are leaving behind. What are they going to eat? Where are they going to sleep? What's going to happen to them? How, they, how will they survive? That's why people die and they still come back to this earth. A lot of people have misconceptions. So, oh, you die, you come back to this earth. Like, that's the, it, it's the, good, it, that's the best thing. This help me. Man, listen. This earth that we live in is the hell we make it as sweet as possible but if you ask my tea this is the hell when you die and you have peace of mind you are going to heaven not any other hell forget about if what anything anything anyone tells you i'm telling you forget about it forget about it use this one and use this one see past the physical see past the physical does it make sense to you the things that some of these religious people they tell you? Does it make sense to you? If it makes sense to you, I follow it. And then go and enjoy your heaven or your hell, whatever they think they will take us. We don't give a damn. And personally, I don't give a damn. I'm not, I'm not going to waste my life thinking about that. All I know is this earth, if we are similar to this is the hell. I mean, the fact that I do my best to make it as nice as possible, for me to enjoy it as much as possible, it does not mean that I don't get hit by this or that disease, problem, jealousy, anger, death, unnecessary death, unnecessary pain, heartbreaks, everything. Think about any negative thing. It's on this earth. How can you tell me, saying this is not hell? There is another hell, and then there is fire. You are dead. You burn, sir. You burn, sir. You burn, sir. But. If I'm in hell and I'm going to burn and it's a continuous burning, you think I'll not get used to burning? If every day somebody is, 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 is like, like is using knife, knife in a show how, let's just assume, there's the knife. Every day it's, it's here. The knife does not come off. Is there, are you not going to get used to the knife there? That's it. Beginning is going to be stressful, a better to a better how painful. But as that goes, so you will get used to it. It's there. It will be part of you. So if every day I'm going to be in hell and it's burning, 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 after how many years would I not be used to it? I'll be used to it. So how is that one at it? But look at this world. Look at this world that we're living in. <laughs> one time there's one a cabi a chase you unnecessary car you do not even do one that chasing you, stressing you, eh? What? One sickness, one poverty, one heartbreak, one sun, one heat, one weather like that, one uh, you rain, uh, destroying all your property, your business, uh, your money, just disturb like winning crater, cotton, crowbeam, just at a thing, one different, different hitting you from every angle. This is hell. 
because you can't get used to it. One disease, different disease, this disease, another disease coming from different angles at any time. Now, bow at your now round. You are telling me, said this is no help. This is the proper help because you can't get used to this problems. About different, different. Sure. What are you telling me? Telling me another like one way hell fire. Sure, okay. My point is this. Think about your loved ones right now that you're living. Sort them out. If you sorted them out and you die, you don't have life insurance, you're okay. But if you've not sorted them out, at the least you can do, just put life insurance. True life insurance for your family, for your love, for your mom. For your children, for your wife. So that you will have peace of mind. And then when you die and you see that light, you can gladly walk in and not trying to find ways to come back to this earth because you've left something. Because if you come back to this earth, you're not going to meet those people that you love now. You know, you, know, you wanted to come back so much to know. You will come back into an, a, a different life. And what is worse, you might not even... You will not get your memory back. You will not get your memory back to know that, oh, this is where I wanted to be and now I'm back. I've had a, another chance to come back on life, so let me do it. No. You're going to have a totally different life. But some few people, very few people, they come back to this life and they're lucky enough to still remember. To still remember the life they had before, you know? Some few people, have, I mean, have you not heard stories of people, seen videos of people talking about other lives and st that they were, I mean, they lived before and they've come back to this life. Okay, so reincarnation is not the answer. Reincarnation is not the answer. We are here on earth for a test. You need to pass the tests and then you can um, evolve. And then you can evolve. Everything here on in life is a distraction. Love, pain, anger, whatever. Money, and fun, enjoyment, happiness, whatever. These are all distractions. It's a, they are all, everything is distraction, okay? But then you make a good choice. I mean, would you rather be angry throughout this life or be loving? And get love back would you like, rather give hate and get hate back on this earth because i can assure you if you die you will come back or you would rather give love and get love back and even if you come back because of love cry it's still positive you might get a, pos a better chance of you know a better life in the if you come back you might get a better one that would make you evolve the point is for you to evolve it's not for you to enjoy a reality so much and say you want to come back and you want to come back and you want to come back. Because there's nothing here. Just pain and misery. Honestly. Okay? We're just making the best out of it. Alright? Anyway. I am D. Okay? From D. Lynn Real Life. In case you've not subscribed to my YouTube channel, which is D. Lynn Real Life. When you go on YouTube, dealing real life, you click on subscribe and then you click on the bell so that you get notification every time we post new videos. We post videos every now and then, like almost every day or, you know, every week you get a video. Definitely. All right. And Facebook, make sure you follow us, dealing. That's our main page. And we have another page, dealing real life. That's our backup page. Okay. So if you want to follow, um, Instagram is dealing real life. All right, maybe as time goes on, I might be talking about this life after this life and death thing. I don't know, and share you know what I know, okay. And who knows, maybe it might help one or two people, all right, and share what I think about Jesus Christ, okay. I mean, me, I don't, <laughs> you and I were no day, so I cannot tell you the person never existed, okay. I was not there. You were not there. And it's the books that we read it, it was written for some. It was written from someone. But all what we know for a fact is whatever it is now, you know, is written. No, especially in the Bible. No, it has been twisted. You know, for power, for control, for 
distraction for um, separation for us to feel like you are i am me you are you meanwhile we are all one people it's for power you know i if anything divide and conquer so they use different things to divide us so they can conquer us okay but it does not mean say the fact that there is lies in there no does not mean that everything is a lie obviously you and i were not there those who wrote the bible the, any other book that you taught any other thing or any other book that they've given knowledge i mean that you are learning you think oh oh that's true this is not true you were not there too so how do you confirm that this one is the truth this one is not true what you need to do is to pick the good things from you know all these books including the bible quran everywhere pick the good one use your mind and make sure you be able to take the good thing and leave the bad thing there's nothing in here though you are so angry me oh you will not go to hell you what you are doing is a sin you go to hell you should be burned you should be burned they should kill you why are you having that anger like who is paying you for that anger like where do you want to go with such anger you're so angry about my life how can you be so angry about my life even if what i'm doing is wrong and it will take me to hell it is my hell it is not your hell why are you angry that i am going to hell check yourself you should know that the problem is you and not me okay all i know is what i am in me is what i'm bringing out i am sorry if you have your um expectations because of society, I'm a woman, I'm expected to do this. I'm a man, I'm expected to do this. You know, that, that, all this. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Nobody cares, so. At the end of the day, man, I'm going to be who I, whom I was created to be. It doesn't matter what is, what is this. Who I am is in me. It's not this. This is just the vessel, the vessel I'm using for this journey. And that is all you need to know, my dear. If you want the best advice, if somebody tells you or advise you to love your neighbor as yourself uh, or love people instead of hate or promote positivity instead of negativity and you want to be angry about that, uh, it is your own problem. It is your own journey. And I wish you peace. Uh, hopefully in the future you will grow and evolve from all these petty things. Because if I'm evil, it is not your evil. It is my personal evil. I've not come to your family. I'm not in your family. Worry about your own problems, you know. I'm sure you do have some, don't you? Anyway, I hope that this message, you know, you will take it lightly and act upon it. Act upon it. And I'm sure, um, you know, it would make you feel better. Should in case you just die unexpectedly. Okay? Alright. Ciao. See you guys later. Bye.